All right. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to another teddy bear pajama party. And how are you? That's right. You can say, I'm fine. Thank you. Hello, 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 how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you. All right, so this time I'll sing Hello, How Are You? And you can sing I'm Fine, okay? Are you ready? Here we go. Hello, 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 how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you. All right, so this time, can you sing hello, how are you? And I'll sing I'm fine. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Hello, 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 That's right. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you. All right, and let's do it one more time, everyone together. Hello, 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 how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you. All right, very good. So I hope everybody's ready for bed. All right, you've got your pajamas on. What else do we have to do to get ready for bed? That's right, we have to wash our hands. All right, and so to wash our hands, we can imagine it's that the soap is like paint, and we want to get it all over our hands. So we start by rubbing your palms together. Rub, 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 rub. And then spread your fingers apart. Get right in there, scrub, 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 scrub. scrub. That's right, okay. And then you can put your right hand on top of your left hand and get all over the back of your hand and in between the fingers. That's right. Okay. And then your left hand on top of your right hand and all over the back of your other hand and in between the fingers. All right. Make sure you get your thumbs. All right. And then you can put the tips of your fingers into the palm of your hand and scrub, scrub, scrub under your nails. Yeah. And then around your wrists, and there we go, we're nice and clean. And while you're washing your hands, you can sing this song. Wash, wash, wash your hands, everyone together. 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 All right. And what else do we have to do to get ready for bed? That's right, we have to wash our face. Wash, wash, wash your face, everyone together. Wash, wash, wash your face, everyone together. All right, very good. And what else do we have to do? That's right, of course, we have to brush our teeth. Brush, brush, brush your teeth, everyone together. Brush, brush, brush your teeth, everyone together. All right, and there we go. We are all set for bed. All right. So, it's winter, and in my Baby Steps classes, we're learning all about winter clothes. And so today's first story is all about a little girl named Linny, who learns to put on her galoshes. Do you know what galoshes are? Galoshes are another word for boots. Can you put your own boots on? Well, let's check it out. 
Let's see how Linny does with her boots. Uh, here we are. Linny's galoshes. And galoshes are boots, just in case you weren't sure. Linny could not put on her own galoshes. Her brother and sister helped her whenever mother was too busy. So she just went on and on, not knowing how to put them on. And then, one day, when she woke up from her nap, it was snowing. Linny could see her brother and sister out sledding on the snowy hill. And she hurried to get dressed so she could go too. After she was all bundled up, she ran downstairs. Mummy, she called, please help me put my galoshes on. But Linny's mother didn't answer. She was out. For a moment, Linny thought she might start crying. But then she decided she was in too much of a hurry for that. Then she thought she might go out without her galoshes. But... Who wants to get cold, wet feet, and maybe a runny nose besides? Linny didn't. So, she sat down, and she pulled, and she tugged, until she managed to get both galoshes on. Then, very slowly and carefully, she zipped them up. That was very hard work. Just as she finished, the telephone rang. It was Linny's mother next door making cakes with her neighbor. Linny, she said, I know you must want to go sledding with the others, but I'm in the middle of baking, so you'll have to wait till I can run over and help you with your galoshes. No, I won't, Mummy, laughed Linny. No, I won't at all, because I put them on all by myself, and they're on. And then wasn't Linny's mother surprised? The end. And that's Linny's galoshes. So all it took was a little bit of motivation. Can you guys put on your own boots? What's that, Barney? Oh, you haven't got boots. Well, yes, that's a good point. Teddy bears shouldn't maybe go out in the snow. It's a little bit wet for teddy bears, I think. Ah, but if you had boots, you could put them on yourself, you think? Okay, I see. Very good. All right. Well, guys, shall we sing a snowy song? Yeah? This song is about Merry Little Snowflakes. <laughs> merry Little Snowflakes falling through the air, resting on the steeple, and that's like the tallest part of a church, the steeple, and the tall trees everywhere, covering roofs and fences, capping every post, covering the hillside where we like to coast. Merry little snowflakes falling through the air Resting on the steeple and the tall trees everywhere Covering roofs and fences, capping every post Covering the hillside where we like to coast Merry little snowflakes falling through the air Resting on the steeple and the tall trees everywhere Covering roofs and fences, capping every post Covering the hillside where we like to coast Alright, and that's Merry Little Snowflakes. So... <clears throat> Today, 
we have a request from one of my little friends and he's just had his birthday this week so I thought I would tell the story he asked for and he wanted to hear Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Do you like that one? If it has bears in it, ah, yes. <laughs> yes, it does have bears in it. It's got three bears. So, let's take a look, shall we? Once upon a time, not so far from here, there was a family of three bears. A father bear, a mother bear, and a baby bear. They were just getting ready to have a nice breakfast of porridge. Boy, this porridge is too hot. I'll burn my tongue. This porridge is too cold. I can hardly get my spoon into it. I'm not really hungry right now. Well, I have an idea. Why don't we go for a walk, and when we come back, our breakfast will be just right. Yay! And so, the three bears went for a nice walk before breakfast. Shortly, along came a young girl whom everyone called Goldilocks because she had blonde curly hair. All morning she had been playing in the forest, hunting for dragons and unicorns, trying to catch the frogs in the creek, and climbing trees. When she came out of the woods, she saw the small cottage. Oh, wow, look, a cottage. I've never seen that before. I wonder who lives there. So, being a curious girl, Goldilocks went and knocked at the door. When there was no answer, she tried the handle, and the door was open. So, she went inside. When Goldilocks entered the cottage, she saw that she was in the kitchen. And there, on the table, were three bowls of porridge. Suddenly, Goldilocks was very hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry! She tried the first bowl of porridge. Mm. Oh, gee, this porridge is too hot! Then she tried the second bowl of porridge. Oh, gee, this porridge is too cold. Then she tried the small bowl of porridge on the end. Oh, this porridge is just right. Mm. And she ate it all up. Next, Goldilocks came into the living room. She saw three chairs. She tried the first one. Oh, this chair is too soft. Then she tried the next chair. Oh, this chair is too hard. And finally, she saw a little chair over in the corner. Oh, wow, look at this chair. It's just right. It's perfect. Ah. <sighs> I wonder if I can stand on it. And unfortunately, by accident, Goldilocks broke the chair. Oh dear! Next, Goldilocks came into the bedroom. She saw three beds. She was very tired from walking in the forest all day. Oh, I think I'll take a little nap. She hopped onto the first bed. Oh, oh dear, this bed is too hard. She lay down on the second bed. Oh dear, 
This bed is too soft. Then she tried the little bed in the corner. Oh, this bed is just right. And soon she was fast asleep. When the bears came home and went into the kitchen, Father Bear looked at his porridge and said, Hey, someone's been eating my porridge. Mother Bear looked at her porridge and said, Hey, someone's been eating my porridge. When Baby Bear looked at his bowl, he said, Hey, someone's been eating my porridge and they ate it all up. When the bears went into the living room, Father Bear walked over to his chair and said, Hey, someone's been sitting in my chair. Mother Bear walked over to her chair and said, Hey, someone's been sitting in my chair. And when Baby Bear went over to his little chair in the corner, he said, hey, someone's been sitting in my chair and it's broken. Oh, <laughs> When the bears went into the bedroom, Father Bear looked at his bed and said, hey, someone's been sleeping in my bed. Mother Bear looked at her bed and said, Hey, someone's been sleeping in my bed. And when Baby Bear looked at his tiny little bed in the corner, he said, Hey, someone's been sleeping in my bed, and look, she's still here. Just then, Goldilocks woke up. Oh, oh my goodness, bears. Hey. Are you the one who was sleeping in my bed and messed it all up? And are you the one who was sitting on our chairs and broke Baby Bear's chair? And are you the one who was eating our porridge and ate all of mine up? Oh, yes, uh, that was me. I'm terribly sorry. Uh... Let me try and help. And so Goldilocks straightened up all the beds. Goldilocks was quite handy, so she fixed the chair that she had broken. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ah, there, all better. Goldilocks even prepared a fresh bowl of porridge for Baby Bear. I'm really sorry. Here you are. Oh, thank you. Wow, with bananas just the way I like it. Me too. Here you are. Thank you. Well, I really should be going home now. Sorry for causing so much trouble. It's okay. Thank you for cleaning up after your mess. Bye now. And so, with that, Goldilocks said goodbye to the bears and headed off through the forest all the way back home. The End Sorry, what, what was that bear? Yeah, the end was a little bit different, was it? Yeah. Well, that's right. If you do something wrong, because we all make mistakes, then you should do your best to, to uh, make things better and try and fix it, yeah? Hmm? What's that, Kuma? You, you would have been more angry. Oh, well, I think they were very nice bears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> All right, guys. Well, I think it must be about time for bed. 
What's that, Pooh? One more song. Yeah? One more song? Oh, okay. What's that, Bernadette? Hickory Dickory Dock. Oh, that's a great idea. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse went up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck two. The mouse went boo. Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck three. The mouse went wee. Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck four. The mouse said no more. Hickory Dickory Dock. <clears throat> Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck one, one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck two, one, two. The mouse went boo. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck three, one, two, three. The mouse went wee. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck four, one, two, three, four. The mouse said no more. Hickory dickory dock, tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. All right. Well, guys, I think that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, be sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe. Um, also, if you're interested in the recipes for the bear's porridge, uh, I've left links to those recipes down below. Um, there's also links for their furniture if you really like Father Bear's chair. Um, so you can check that out. And uh, if you'd like to follow me, uh, you can follow me on Facebook uh, at Babylon Kids. You can also uh, on Instagram and the links for both of those are down below. Um, and if you're interested in the um, pajama parties and the crafts that I do, uh, go on over to myteddyandfriends.com and you can find uh, printable templates for the crafts and, uh, and also some other stuff for the videos. So uh, be sure to follow me and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Well, I can say goodbye. You can say goodbye. I can say goodbye to you. You can say goodbye to me. Goodbye, goodbye to you. I can say goodbye. You can say goodbye. I can say goodbye to you. You can say goodbye to me. Goodbye, goodbye to you. I can say goodbye. Goodbye, Kuma. Goodbye, Bernadette. Goodbye, Motsi. Goodbye, Pooh. You can say goodbye. Goodbye, Bear. Goodbye, Honey Bear. Goodbye, Barney. I can say goodbye to you. Goodbye, Kumba. Goodbye, Teddy. You can say goodbye to me. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, goodbye to you. I can say goodbye, you can say goodbye, I can say goodbye to you, you can say goodbye to me, goodbye, goodbye to you. Goodbye everybody, have a good night, see you next time.